Once you set up a user account for your children, it's a good idea to turn on family safety. It's not foolproof, but it does give you some control over how they're using the computer. The quickest way to do this is to press Windows and C to launch the charms menu. Click on search. And type family safety in the box at the top. The results won't appear in apps, so click on the settings. And then click on set up family safety for any user. So we don't want to set up family safety for ourselves, but instead we want to set it up for Victoria. Also, remember that you need to have a password set on your administrator account, otherwise these are fairly pointless. So, family safety is set on, and we're also collecting information about how the PC is used. We've got four sections down here as to what we can actually restrict on the computer. So the first one is web filtering. So, family safety has shown that Victoria can only use the websites that I allow, so now we want to set the web filtering level. And here there's a list of different levels of websites that can be allowed or blocked. So we are going to select child friendly, which will only allow websites on the allow list and in the child friendly category. Click on the up arrow to return to the web filtering screen. And then we can also allow or block specific websites. This is useful if for whatever reason they've appeared in the wrong list. So just for example, we're going to allow the Club Penguin website. So enter the website in the box here. And click on Allow. And it's just as easy to block a website. So if we wanted to block Facebook, type Facebook in there and click on Block. When you're happy with the list, click on Up to return to the web filtering list. And then click on Up again to return to the family safety settings. Now the other thing you might want to limit is how long the child can use the computer for. So we can set a time allowance here. Set it for only an amount of time that I allow. And we can set how long they can use the computer on different days, either weekdays or weekends. When you're happy with those settings, click on the up arrow to return to the time limit screen. And there's also the option to set a curfew so that they can't use the computer any later than you want. Now, by default, you can see that it's allowed for all the time. So you can just click and drag to do blocked. And we'll allow slightly later at the weekend, like that. And when you're happy with this, click on up again, and then up again to the family safety settings. Now you can also restrict apps by the Windows Store and games. Most games will come with PEGI age ratings. So I'm going to set this so that Victoria can only use games and Windows Store apps that I allow. I'm going to set the ratings. I'm going to set that to PEGI 7. And you can also see at the top here, there's the option to block games with no ratings. That's helpful if there are games that haven't uh, signed up to the PEGI scheme. Click on Up to return to the restrictions page. And then you can also allow or block specific games on the computer. When you're happy with these settings, click on Up, back to the family safety settings. And then finally there's the app restrictions. And this is where you can set to block particular apps on the computer. So it might be that you don't want them using the webcam software or some video editing software, something like that. When you're happy with these settings, click on Up to return to the user settings. And you can see that there's a quick summary here of all the different settings that we've set up for this user account. There's also the activity reports, so you can see what they've been doing, the most popular websites they visit, any blocked pages that they've tried to access, when the computer's been used, and the apps and games that they've used the most.